So we've discovered a planet um, called Gliese 12b that's Earth-sized and temperate. And so what this means is that it could be at the right temperature for liquid water to pool on its surface. In this great search for life that, we, that we're, we're undertaking, we want to try and find planets that are potentially habitable, and this could be a, a, a good contender. Uh, the other thing about this is that it's only 40 light years away. And this might not mean that we can actually get to it anytime in the near future, but it does mean that we can point the largest space telescopes in the world at it and understand what its atmosphere might be like. Earth and Venus are classic examples of how an atmosphere can change the surface of a planet. So Earth is this haven for life as we know it, and Venus is hot enough to melt lead on its surface. And the difference between these two planets is largely because Venus has a very hostile atmosphere. And so we think that this planet, which is right in between Earth and Venus in our solar system in terms of the amount of light that it gets from its sun, could actually bridge the gap between Earth and Venus in our solar system and help us understand why Venus and Earth turned out to be so different. Our main collaborators have been international. Um, we actually discovered this planet with the use of space telescope data. And the specific space telescope is called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. That's actually a NASA mission. And so as soon as we made this discovery with the NASA mission, NASA was interested in the outcome of this. So we've collaborated with some people at NASA in order to confirm and to, to work on this planet. But we have a lot of collaborators in Europe as well. And of course, NASA is an American agency, so we've collaborated with a lot of people at, at, in, in the US as well. So this planet is actually around a red dwarf star. So this is like a really cool red star. Um, and that means that it, it only orbits its star every 12 days. And so a year on this planet would be something like 12 days. Uh, and that's special because it actually turns out that, that in order to be habitable, this planet can be far, far closer to its star. It's kind of like being next to a campfire. Um, if you're like around a small um, candle, you have to get really close. And if you're around like a campfire or a bonfire, you, you can be um, toasty and, and be quite, quite a bit farther away from it. This system in particular is, is, is around a really cool star, so you have to get really close in order to be potentially at the right temperature for water to be on its surface.